हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रीतम शाह एंड वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल कॉम्यूटिव कोडर्स सो आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल एंड टुडे दिस इज आवर फिफ्टीन वीडियो ऑफ आवर एश्योर रियल टाइम सिनारियो सीरीज एश्योर डेटा फैक्टर रियल टाइम सिनारियो सीरीज ओके सो आई होप यू हैव वॉच ऑलरेडी आवर प्रीवियस फोर्टीन वीडियोज ओके बिकॉज ऑल द वीडियोज आर लिंक्ड विथ प्रीवियस वन ओके सो सो in this video what we will learn we will learn how to execute the store procedure uh, with output parameter using arduino data factory okay so store procedure i think all we know about that okay so how to execute that that also we have seen in our uh, in our in our uh, in our uh, in our earlier video okay when uh, we have created a cd2 and uh, this this pipeline also We, we in this pipeline also when we copy the data uh, and uh, and uh, after that uh, whatever the pipeline activity we have stored in the store uh, in in a, in a lock table using the store procedure the, here also we have seen the thing how to use this okay if you have not seen i give the video link in the video description you will get to see from there okay so but here uh, there we didn't didn't uh extract any kind of output we have just given input and it stored to the to the yeah, sql table okay but today's scenario what today's scenario is basically we have created one store prop so there we will give one input so basically uh, in our last this table only we will use this so we have this we have this table okay so if i go that is okay so we have this employees table okay here uh, this table we have used in our earlier video so when we created the scd so okay so this table so from here we will get the count which the total employee count which is active okay so active employee means we is active column should be one so that's why if i will perform this query it will give me the total count the active employees uh, in correct syntax okay where is the syntax okay uh, there is full space extra space okay so uh, so uh, i'm getting the output so this thing will be performed in the store block okay when we will uh, use it in store block lib uh, using the uh, when we will use this query in store block so there we will pass the is active equals to one or if you want to uh, see the deactivated employee which which employee is not active okay so in that case you can uh, you can just pass zero here instead of you no know, one okay So it will give you the two count two employees have been yeah, deactivated already. Okay. So this thing. So uh, during the uh, during the pipeline uh, trigger, we will pass the is active. Um, okay, is active uh, input and it will after the store proc uh, uh, executed, it will give the output employee count. Okay. so based on this uh, we have created this store prop okay if you don't know the store prop you can yeah, you can see this code and try to understand because i will not uh, go to the deep drive to uh, give you the understanding of store prop okay this is a sql concept okay you can see any other videos also so it is basically we have created this this is a simple thing okay if you uh, Go, if you have gone through, then you will get to understand. We, so what we are doing, whatever parameter uh, we will have, we are just defined it. So this is active parameter. We will pass the value, and employee count we will get in output. That's why we mentioned it. Okay. So employee count, it's the output. The count, whatever the total count, will be stored in employee count, and it will give in the output. And is active. Uh, it will take from the is active variable okay so 1 or 0 that we will pass run in run time basis 
okay so in sql level if we need to execute this so how to execute it so first we have declared one variable to get get the uh, get that value in it uh, we can use uh, any any variable name so i have used the same variable name so basically this output this employee count the, uh, this output this output employee count will get stored here okay okay so you uh, can use here total employee also total employee okay is a variable we are new variable we are defining because the our store clock output uh, would be stored in a new variable okay so total count if i store total count okay this is also okay so and uh, and one is the input okay so if i'll run it okay now fine now i'm getting five output the same thing we will do in the pipeline level okay first what we will do i will create one pipeline okay now here we will not use this store proc store proc activity okay because this store proc activity if we use it can take it can take the if i do, do like this it can take uh, take the variable okay it can take the variable uh, one or two something uh, the is active whatever is the is active value that it will take but it can't give any kind of output okay so here is the store prop okay this store prop we select and in, in parameter if i import so is that is active if i will pass as one and employee count would be uh, nothing because in this is the output thing if i will pass this and if i will try to execute it will get failed okay because i have something output so using this activity we can't um, pro produce any kind of output we can't fetch any kind of output okay we we can just input something we can pass the input which will will take the store block but from the store block any kind of output it will not able to uh, show in the output okay so if i run it you can see this will get failed so you can see this is this dot fail okay So you can see the for the uh, uh, which, which was not supplied the employee count, but employee count we expect as a output. Okay, so that's why it got failed. Okay, so whenever we we need to fetch any kind of output from store prop, that time we can't use any kind of uh, a, 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 any kind of store prop activity. Okay, so that's why uh, today's topic is how to execute store procedure with output parameter. Okay. So there is different okay so anybody can run store store proc using the store proc activity but when we have some output we need to get some output from store proc how we will execute so in this case we will do the lookup activity here we have the lookup activity okay so in lookup activity we have first uh, we'll choose our db okay so here then in query we'll write 
so already this link should be uh, the data sets i have created in my earlier video you can see it from here here we will pass this query okay as a sql query we will execute this source block okay so how we have you uh, execute it in sql in, uh, query window the same way we will use in this lookup using this lookup activity okay so now everything is fine so i have mentioned it the data count one here this thing you can parameterize uh, uh, giving the parameter in parameter level if you want me to parameter i am doing okay so the same parameter you can you can use here in your query also so you take the whole query and paste it here and here instead of one okay so now if i execute the thing i think it will work okay so now if i will run run it and output i should get the count so is active okay now i'm going to run what failed while Okay, in query level directly and the uh, pipeline parameter uh, in the, it is not able to take the pipeline parameter that's why it, has, uh, it is giving the error we need to hard code it okay so here we hard code it here okay so if i will take it Okay. So now it will run as a query. Okay. Whenever we will, we are parameterizing, uh, uh, it is give, it will give, uh, it will not run as a query. Okay. Because uh, the parameter it will not able to treat page okay uh, in sql query so now we can execute and the parameter doesn't require we can delete it also let's see it is failing on all this running yeah so you can see the total count that is five so the where we are storing the same total count as as i have mentioned it here total count t small you can see the same output it is given okay so i hope you have understood the concept the business requirement also so whenever we are passing some input in our store block which we should uh, get the output we want to see some kind of output that time we can use lookup uh, in lookup in uh, sql query as a query we need to run that store block using that query we need to run that store block not using the activity okay i hope you have understood the concept if you have any kind of doubt you can directly reach out to me uh, or uh, via talkmit all the services are free you don't need to pay anything okay and if you still have not subscribed our channel please do subscribe our channel and stay with us there are lots of data engineering related videos which is important for your upcoming interview or if you are aspiring for data engineering role you can learn lots of things from here okay so please visit 
and watch the video and share with your friends uh, i'll give these queries and all in the video description if you still have any kind of doubt you can comment on the video comment section i will reply back to that comment okay each and individual comment or if you if you have any kind of suggestion any any anything uh, you want to share you can directly comment uh, related to the video related to the design engineering any other content you you need you can you can uh, share uh, in the comment uh, comment box i will reply on that and i will um, try to create that um, uh, that subjective content and uh, will share with you guys okay thank you for watching our video stay tuned with us and please like share and subscribe our channel